how do you find your soulmate how do you find the one right everybody's always going around looking for the one well first of all you might not have one soulmate in fact most people don't have only one soulmate they have several soulmates and I'd like to tell you something else anybody who you've dated before got in a relationship with is a soulmate of yours a soulmate doesn't equate to a life partner although a life partner can be and is a soulmate I think when people talk about the soulmate they're talking about the finding the one the life partner soulmate right that one connection that you that one person that you just want to spend the rest of your life with you want to share a life with but a soulmate most of us don't have one soulmate we have several soulmates right and I'm telling you right now anybody who you've dated in the past is a soulmate and you guys came into each other's lives to enhance each other and make one one another grow whether you knew it or not whether you're conscious of it or not if the you guys broke up on really bad terms and it's terrible and there was a lot of you know just really resentment and angry negative feelings you're still both both are learning from that experience so maybe redefine a little bit about the concept of a soulmate it's not just one soulmate although some of us have one soulmate you know for some of us we get lucky uh, like Elliot Hulse for example right he's he's been with his wife since he was 14 he met her in high school and that's it right uh, but I think for most of us it doesn't usually work like that now here's the thing here's what I'm gonna tell you you can't escape your soulmate you fucking wrote that shit any soulmate of yours any your soulmates your soulmate your life partner you wrote that shit in contract okay you wrote that shit in contract in metaphysical contract not paper right you all these things all these people that we meet here all these relationships we have we've all arranged these things okay we've arranged it on a, before we came to this game before we came to this incarnation it's all arranged so it's all it's been arranged okay you can't escape your soulmate your uh, let's just talk more specifically your life partner here okay all of us want to find that one person most of us want to find that one person to share a life with right a wifey type relationship a hub hobby type relationship you can't escape that you don't so don't even try and look for it don't even try to you know seek after it it's like you can't escape it it's 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 pending doom waiting to happen okay you're 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 doomed to that person and that person is doomed to you and you none of you can do anything about it because the minute when you see each other and you know each other and you'll know like you'll know Oh fuck like uh, I'm so attracted to this person and I don't know why and I'm attracted to them on all levels I'm attracted to them physically I'm attracted to their minds and I'm attracted to them spiritually on a soul level holy shit I don't even know why I just am uh, so you can't escape it so don't even try and look for it don't even try to manipulate things you know don't try to go out and say I'm looking for my soulmates like you can't really like that shit's made in it's written it's written it's it is written maktu it's written right you will find each other sooner or later now or 10 years or 5 years or 20 years you'll find each other okay you will and hey don't put it past you that you two might not be together anymore because then that means that's it the agreement is over Maybe you're gonna find another soulmate now or maybe not maybe not right I also don't think I think it's all specific by case some of us have a lot of soulmates for some of us it's one for some of us we go through a lot of soulmates before we find the life partner for some of us we find that life partner that one soulmate that one life partner connection right away see 
So I think that's how you find the soulmate, by not even trying to find the soulmate, by just understanding how this game works. There are no accidents in this business that we're in, in this, in this simulation, in this game that we're in. Every person that you're meant to have a conversation with, let alone have a relationship with, will come into your life despite all your best ego efforts to keep them out of it. You understand? Despite all of your best ego efforts to keep them out of it, they will come into your life. The circumstance, the situation will present itself. And oftentimes, it will present itself in the most unlikely ways possible, in the most coincidental way possible, in the most synchronistic way possible. You see? Keep an eye. You know, I know I'm saying don't go out and look, but keep an eye. Just keep an open mind and open possibility and open eye. If you're someone who does yoga, for example, and you meet somebody there and you find they're cute, think of it like this for a second. Just think, think of it like this, right? What are the chances that out of 7 billion people, you know, 3.5, right? 3.5 men, 3.5 women. What are the chances that out of 3.5 females in this planet, or males, if you're a woman watching this, that I'm meeting this person who happens to be interested in yoga, interested in the same things that I'm interested in, interested, you know, it's like you see and now goes to the same yoga studio as me, lives in the same area. It's like when you think about it like this, it's like you, you know, you, and, and she's attracted to me and I'm attracted to her. It's like, you know, okay. Just by virtue of that happening, by virtue of that situation arising, just the, by virtue of the situation of being in that situation, it's like, well, clearly the universe wants us to be lovers, you know, clearly we have a soulmate connection. You understand? Clearly, we, we have a soulmate connection. Doesn't necessarily mean it's a life partner connection. See, there's a difference. A life partner is often, let's say, your ultimate soulmate, for lack of better words, lack of better terms, right? A life partner is someone like you want to spend your life with. But you can meet someone and you can have a beautiful relationship with them and then part ways. And that someone is a soulmate. And the very fact that you both had a relationship, that you both dated, that you both became intimate lovers for however long, however short, that right there is a, is a soulmate connection. See, that right there is a soulmate connection. So you can't escape your soulmate connections. They'll, they'll happen whether you like them or not. You just have to be. You just have to be, right? You just have to be in the world. Do your thing. Do your thing. Just be in the world. And just things will happen. It's, you'll find that everything just happens in life synchronistically and beautifully. And hey, if you're single, if you don't, if you don't get nobody right now, you're just not meant to right now at this point. You're, you're simply not meant to have a soulmate connection at this moment in your life. Maybe you're meant to fucking spend some years by yourself in solitude, right? And maybe, guess what? Maybe your soulmate is doing the same thing right now. Your next soulmate or your ultimate soulmate for that matter. You see? So, everything's perfect. Everything's flowing. Everything, everything, everything comes into your life as it should. We just, we try to control things. We think we're in control. It's fucking illusion. It does, it is an illusion. And I firmly believe that the people, soulmates and friends and people people i firmly believe that the people that are meant to be in your life that are meant to enter your life will enter it and the people that are meant to exit your life will exit it in the same way looking at it from that person's view from that person's point of view if you're meant to be in their life you will find your way there whether you like it or not that's a thing really like what are you really in control of you think you're in control you, are you in control of your attraction to that person? And is, is she in control of her attraction to you? No, it's just, it's there. It's, it's the Tao. It's just the universe like saying, hey, yeah, 
you guys look cute together so that's that's my little rant here god bless you all guys i love every single one of you but don't forget to subscribe or you're gonna find your soulmate when you sleep with the fishes so subscribe <laughs>